Unfortunately, I just finished the last of my Rosehip Calendula facial oil and I need to make some more. A lot of you have requested this video, so let's make it together. Last time I made this, I used a pretty big jar and ended up using most of the remnants on my hair. Um, but this time, I'd rather make use of what I've got. Um, so I'm going to use a smaller jar. You're going to want to fill around half of your jar um, with calendula and rosehip or whatever herb you decide to use for your oil. I'm just going to break down these little buds. So now that that's done, I put it back in my jar, just so you can see. I'm going to pack it down and add some of my coat in. Alright, so I'm actually going to mix these together. I just added around two tablespoons on the top, and I think I'm going to add one more. Completely eyeballing this, which is totally fine. As for oil, last time I used grapeseed oil, and that's what I'm using again this time. I really like it. Um, it's more shelf-stable than coconut oil, but less expensive than all of your other oil options. Apart from olive oil, of course. Spill the oil to this top rim here. And then use a chopstick or whatever you have. In this case, I'm using a clean fork to make sure the oil and the calendula and rosehip are mixed in. And then as you see, we have more room at the top, so I'm going to fill that with oil as well. Lastly, I'm adding a little bit of naturally waxed paper to the top so the chemicals that are possibly on the lid don't get into the oil that I'm putting on my face. You are going to let this sit in a cool, dry, jar location for around three weeks. Last time I let mine sit for two weeks and I decided I want it to sit a little longer. So give it a good shake, label it so you know what's in it and how long it needs to sit, um, and 